So he was leaving. You saw that he was trying to push that carriage. And then what does the cop do? Hands on. Slam against the wall. Unbelievable. He was physically detained for no legitimate purpose. You see him here, guys. What's up, Flaw family? I wanted to show you this video of the migrant attack that they're talking about on the news in New York City here in Times Square. This looks like uh, maybe Broadway where all the uh, plays and that sort of thing occurs. But you're going to see here, look, they're already stepping in the way of people, like clearly slowing down right there to get in their way. And then uh, some creepy advertising right there for the exorcist and... Um, I think that's what it is. I have no idea. But here they are. They're going over. Let's fast forward just a little bit here. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be audio in this. I don't know. All right. So here are the, the people being accused. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. One moment. All right, go. One moment. Let's go. Go now. No. All right, so he's the cop. The cops are telling these guys to move, as if like they're loitering or something. But they actually don't have any probable cause, and they announce this later on, which means it's a wrongful encounter. It's a it's a aggressive. Uh, they don't need to be talking to these guys. They're not causing a problem. Um, even if they are loitering, what the cops do to them is not appropriate. If you notice that they're speaking Spanish and so they're the cops are uh not speaking Spanish, they're speaking English. So there is clearly a dialect problem here, uh a, a language problem, not just dialect, but a language problem. And they're not um properly properly assessing the situation if there was a situation, which there isn't. I'm not sure why the audio is stopping here. Look at that, guys. Did you see that right there? For no reason, that cop just assaulted him, grabbed him. Let's watch it again. Right here on the left, you'll see it. Now, the kids are leaving. They are making... Whoa. So it looked like uh, this guy on the left was trying to get his stuff. I don't know if it was like a carriage or something like that. But as soon as he put his hand on his stuff, this cop just went hands on and slammed him against the wall. What for? What for? Exactly. What for? And if they don't have a reason, it's a wrongful encounter. It's a wrongful uh, arrest. Um, and you have every right to resist. You have every right to fight back to make sure that you are not taken by thugs, by violent criminals in New York City, in blue. You have the right to, to fight back. It's a, it's a fact. Um, you have the right to use up to deadly force if necessary. I'm glad they didn't because we don't want to cause that kind of harm. But you have the right to protect yourself. <laughs> So that guy in red that's getting involved here, he is doing a service for the citizens of America. 
for people who live in New York City and for the world for attacking this cop, for uh, wrongfully arresting this guy. You have the right to do this. You have the right to uh, take down these thugs. Um, no one has the right to put hands on. They didn't have uh, any legitimate reason. So here we go. <laughs> They ripped the guy's shirt off. I think he has a chain. I think they might have ripped that off as well. I'm pretty sure they muted out the swears. 85, 220, what's for two? Yep, they did. The chain, his chain did come off, and hopefully it's not real gold. Cause that that is some nice value right there. Better pick that up and bring it to Tracks, New York, for some money. Anyways, <laughs> the um, these uh, officers are calling for backup. Backup what? To violate their rights even further? Twenty <laughs> five. If it's so urgent, why aren't they chasing after these guys? They're not. Because they know that they did something wrong. And, you know, they're further causing a problem by causing backup. And it's just crazy. Yeah, now they're going to go after him? Come on, this is ridiculous. Well, let's fast forward a little bit here because I don't think you re encounter them again for a bit. You guys, that way. Oh, she's that way. Now they come back and they start talking to people. He's What's the condition? What's the condition? Only for a subway. What do you see? I'm still pretty sick. Only for a subway. 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 Only for Right, I'm just going to fast forward here because I don't think they really even find these guys. They talk to you guys? Oh. Uh, who Let me go back. Let me see what they hit. Uh, how many people they need? How many? It was like, uh, like 10, 15 people. But what happened? Yeah. No, we're trying to figure out what happened over the radio. So we're trying to pick them up and then, uh, because they're jumping on They jumped you guys? Oh. There you go. They just, they just admitted there was no probable cause, but now they're saying there's a gun involved. And yeah, they did show the uh, footage later, I think, but no, I don't think they did. Did they? Uh, group kid from, uh, I think the migrant. They found out 220 was from What, they were over there? Yeah. So one of them had a yellow shirt, you said? Yeah, yeah. You don't know which way they went? Uh, you guys are okay? Yeah, we're okay. okay. Oh, that's too bad. You're okay? You just try to violate someone's rights and assault them? And they resisted, thankfully. And I'm glad you're okay. But, you know, you really... Good, it could have been a lot worse, and you deserved a lot worse. Yeah. Uh, 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 u
They start. They there's they're saying that they started the brawl. What kind of gaslighting baloney is that? Clearly, the officers are putting hands on before any probable cause was established. And they think that's okay? Were they ghosts on for both or? No, they were like harassing people for a 220 watch for two. Oh, they were harassing people? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? How do you know that? You got a call? Well, if you got a call, you're supposed to investigate. You just literally went hands-on and just started assaulting these kids. Regardless of their status, of who, where they're from, who they are, it doesn't matter. You have constitutional rights no matter what, if you're in America. You see that? Last part, they cut the body cam right when he said that. Ready, ready, ready? Let's go back and watch this again. Ready, ready, here it comes, guys, here it comes. No, they were like harassing people for a 220 watch for two. Uh, unprovoked or what? <laughs> Let me cut the body cam real quick. <laughs> oh my God, we're gonna slow mo this. We're gonna slow mo this, guys. I want. I really want you to hear this on slow mo. Go half speed. Oh yeah. One in the yellow shirt. Listen to the guy on the right here. Right? He's trying to figure out what's going on. Watch. He kicked him, dude. And he gave me a couple times. Would they go? She sound for both? Or? No. They were like. Harassing people for a 220 watch for two. Okay. Right. Uh, cut the camera. Cut the camera quick. Uh, <laughs> see, see how the thugs, uh, how they work. Let's put it back to normal speed here. Of course, their body cams are muted. Oh, there's another angle. Another angle. All right, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see what's going on here, guys. Since it's better audio here. Por favor, como está? Vamos. West four one. West four one. Go to West four one. Move. Vamos. West four one. Other side. Other side. West. First off, you can see them that they're all moving. Uh, this guy is probably looking up where. Uh, the cop just told him to go, so he's probably, I, I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. He's GPSing where to go. 41 Street. West 41. No, West 41. Mijo. West 41. West 41, mijo. West 41, mijo. Let's go. Move. Move. West 41. Hands on, no reason. Vamos. West 41. Oye. You see how this guy is trying to get his stuff right here? Okay. Watch, watch what the cop does. It's a stroller. Like. No, I don't care. Bottles. That looks like they're having a great time. So he was leaving. You saw that he was starting to push that carriage. And then what does the cop do? Hands on. Slam against your wall. Watch. Unbelievable. 
He was physically detained for no legitimate purpose. You see it here, guys. <laughs> And of course, they never have these body cams fully secured because they know that uh, if they are getting into a scuffle, these things fall off and they're not going to capture what's going on. They know this. They absolutely know that this is going on and they do it on, pur on purpose. <laughs> Notice how the body cam was more important to him um, than actually going after these guys. He got up pretty quick, and the guys started running. Did they chase after him? No. They're like, oh, let me get my body cam. Go, go after those guys. All right, I guess this is surveillance footage of the incident. Cops intimidating. They are leaving. They're leaving slowly. You know, they're not, it's not like urgent that they leave immediately as fast as they can. No, you're allowed to, when you're told to leave, let's just say it's actually legitimate, you have the right to leave slowly. That's a federal court ruling. Or uh, a Supreme Court ruling, at least in New Hampshire. And it probably should carry there. There's likely um, another angle of this, but they didn't seem like they released it. Oh, that lady just bumped into that guy. <laughs> into another guy. <laughs> The cops are causing a disturbance. Look at two cops cannot even take one guy down. And look, yeah, kick him in the head. Yeah, freaking right. How dare they do this? How dare these cops treat these people like this? It is a wrongful arrest, whatever they're trying to do. And these people have the right to defend their friend right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're not chasing after him, huh? Hmm. Ridiculous. I love how people are just like, oh, yeah, no big deal. <laughs> and we'll see that, that lady again real quick. Look, look at this lady on the right. Damn straight, you deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great walk right in through that <laughs> and they did deserve it they deserve worse they should be in jail right now those cops should be in jail alright so see the guy in the yellow in the middle there he's going over to the cart he's uh, you know getting his stuff to, to get going he starts to push it he starts going Next thing you know, oh, why are you doing that, officer? Are you a thug? Oh, yeah, you are. Look how they're treating him. I'm going to go back. Let's go back over here. I'm just going to watch this again. They have him cornered there. The video's going to cut off, so I'm going to try to pause it before it does. They all come? Yeah. You see how that went down, guys? You see how that went down?
So those guys are heroes. So clearly, guys, these cops are thugs. They're not even uh, doing their job correctly. They had no probable cause to detain these guys, arrest them, nothing. But they went ahead and did this anyways. And then, the, you know, they arrested a guy. They, the, the, the public is being misinformed about what's going on here. And, I mean, we should be putting two and two together. There is no probable cause. They announced that. But they should be arrested anyways, is what some people are saying, some news pundits. Nah. No. If, you, if you're not being detained, if it's not a, a legal detainment, if you're not being arrested um, lawfully, you have every right to resist. Up to deadly force. I'm not saying you should. But I do think what they did was appropriate. Now, what these cops did, what these thugs did, inappropriate. This is the America we live in. If you're watching this from another country, you probably never want to go to New York City because of how they treat people, especially New York City. Oh, they're just terrible there. But anyways, maybe visit New Hampshire. If you're in another, another country where you live in the United States, probably just go to New Hampshire. It's one of the safest places. Yeah, I got my issues and my troubles, but you know what? Uh, we have m more rights here. We have the best Second Amendment rights in the world. Uh, still has some issues, but we, we're getting there. Uh, and uh, we have the best freedom of speech. We can record in the courts, unlike some of you out there that has no idea what you're talking about and saying, oh, the judge can make their own rules. Mm. The, judge did, the judges did make their own rules in the Supreme Court saying that we have the right to record. So yeah, the judges can make decisions as they wish, but they now, since that ruling, they can't uh, restrict cameras in courts. Once you give notification, you give a notification. And uh, yeah, so they, you got to get to New Hampshire if you want those freedoms, guys. You're not going to find it in places like New York or New Jersey or Arizona, California, Florida. You're not going to find that there. We can go into the courts here in New Hampshire and record all we want. There's limitations. They can, you know, they can object, but it has to be sensitive stuff like family court, juvenile, that sort of thing. So I, I, I hope that these uh, migrants get freed and honorary citizenship. <laughs> and these cops, these thugs, you know what? Deport them. Let's send them to the places um, that don't have these freedoms. That, and it doesn't matter if you assault people wrongfully. Well, it does matter, but you know what I'm saying. Go to a country, you can do that. I'm pretty sure North Korea will hire you guys in a heartbeat. You know, North Korea will love you. Maybe China. China this is like, this is what China really looks like here, guys. Except there's, there's another step. China, they don't even charge you with crimes. They just throw you in jail. And then they just release you whenever they feel like it. You could be political prisoners out there. And when, when you have people escape in their country to find more freedom and they come they find out <laughs> they really don't have more freedom if anything it's worse off it's worse off especially in new york so i appreciate you guys hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscri subscribe button and uh whatever you do don't redress your grievances with new york pd because they they do not listen it's gonna go absolutely nowhere <laughs> So there's really not much of a point, though. I would love to, you know, maybe uh, find out uh, if someone can find it and put it in the in the the chat, uh, not chat, the comments. Uh, if you guys can put it in the comments, um, if this person has a lawyer and bail, uh, whatever it is, let's try to uh, help them out if we can. I I don't know if it's a battle that uh, we want to uh, pick here, but I mean, at least we're giving this attention, and I think people need to know that. We're not going to get bullied around. We're not going to be pushed around like this. We have the right to resist when it's unlawful. There's no probable cause here. All right. Thank you all. Peace out. Hey, guys, make sure you go over to thinkpenguin.com and check out some of the stuff he has here, like keyboards and mice. He's got a huge selection of things here, all in stock. If it's on there, he's got it. And uh, all kinds of accessories need some tech gear need some linux computers and laptops he's got all kinds of good stuff here he's got all the little nooks and crannies to fix her up he's got it 
cables and other PC components. I mean, come on, guys. You, can't, you gotta check this guy's out. He's got some reasonable prices, and believe it or not, he takes crypto. So go check this uh, site out, thinkpenguin.com.